Hello and welcome. My name is Christina from Empowered Creator. I am a mindset and conscious manifesting teacher and coach, and this is my YouTube channel. Here I talk about all things law of assumption, mindset, conscious manifesting, the quantum universe, and a lot more. And my goal is to simplify everything without the fluff. So if you guys like this content and you would like to see more of it, I would love it if you would subscribe to this channel, comment on this video, like it, share it, and stick around. Also, if you need help with your specific situation, I offer one-on-one -on -one coaching, email coaching, as well as custom subliminals for whatever needs you may have. I also have some self-study courses about manifesting your specific person. So if you're interested in any of these services, the links are below in the description box. Click on them and they're going to take you to my website. With all that being said, let's dive into today's video. In today's video, I want to talk about some of what I consider very toxic teachings in the manifesting community. And I want to help you guys understand and realize why these teachings are toxic and why you should not pay any attention to them, much less try to implement them in your day-to-day -day manifesting practice. So this is what I'll be discussing in today's video. Stay tuned. So of course, there are so many coaches out there, so many channels, many of them are fantastic. And many of them explain and teach things from many different perspectives, which I think can be very useful to people. Unfortunately though, because there are so many teachings out there and so many perspectives and so many interpretations of the teachings, some of them, or at least the way in which some of them are presented by some coaches, can actually be very toxic and that can be harmful to people instead of beneficial to their manifesting practice and to their inner awareness practice. So today in this video, I wanted to talk about some of these toxic teachings to help you guys recognize them and hopefully start avoiding them in your manifesting practice. So without further ado, the first such teaching for which a big chunk of the manifesting community is unfortunately guilty of is the whole concept of toxic positivity. What we mean by toxic positivity is that you never recognize anything unwanted or undesirable that happens in the 3D, and you either turn a blind eye to what is happening in the 3D, or you try to maintain a happy, positive, nonchalant attitude no matter what. This is not necessarily bad per se, however, what tends to happen with most people is that us being human, it is usually impossible to be happy 24-7, and it is usually equally impossible to be completely unaffected by what is happening in our 3D, to be always completely unaffected and completely non-triggered by what is happening in our 3D, even if they are undesirable things that are happening or things we don't prefer, or let's say we're manifesting something and we have some opposite results, of course we're going to be triggered, of course we're going to be sad or disappointed, at least for the first while. And basically, the whole concept of toxic positivity teaches people to suppress their emotions, teaches people to pretend to be happy when deep down, even they know that they're anything but happy. The whole point of conscious manifesting, you guys, is not to always stay happy. It's not to pretend to yourself and to other people around you that nothing ever affects you, nothing ever touches you. It's not to pretend that something that is happening that you don't like is not happening and to turn a blind eye to it. And unfortunately, in many, many cases, adopting that whole concept of toxic positivity results in people suppressing their emotions, people pretending to themselves, sometimes for years, and what happens is that their mental and emotional health deteriorates instead of actually improving. So I would say that toxic positivity is probably the number one toxic teaching when it comes to the manifesting community. And unfortunately, a lot of teachers in the manifesting community are guilty of teaching that. A second toxic kind of teaching is actually quite closely tied to what I just discussed. And that is what we call spiritual bypassing. Spiritual bypassing is all about attempting to fool yourself, to lie to yourself, to pretend to yourself that your 3D is different to what it actually is. There is absolutely no need to deny the current 3D to yourself. All this is going to do is create more resistance in your mind and in your body because your mind is going to go crazy if you try and tell it that this thing that I'm seeing in front of my eyes is actually not happening. Your mind is going to go crazy saying, what do you mean? Are you crazy? Of course it's happening. And boom, before you know it, you've created an extra layer of resistance for yourself. 
So a lot of people in the manifesting community are actually being taught that if something undesirable happens in your 3D, if something that you don't like happens in your 3D, or if something that you don't prefer happens, tell yourself it's not happening or it didn't happen. That might actually sometimes work if you're very advanced and you are very well versed in the technique of revision. You can tell yourself that this didn't happen in the sense that you take the trigger out of yourself and you put it in the past and you stop thinking about it. However, for most people, especially people who don't have all that much experience, all that does is create more resistance. So spiritual bypassing is actually a toxic teaching for one other reason, because it deprives you of the whole opportunity that the 3D is giving you to see for yourself what you're creating, what your inner world is creating in your outer world. Indeed, the 3D can serve as great feedback, even if it's undesirable, it can still be great feedback to show you what your dominant reality is in your inner world and where your dominant states are and where your dominant energies are. Because the outer world always shows you what you're dominantly creating within. So if you deprive yourself of this opportunity and instead opt for spiritual bypassing, where you're trying to fool yourself and you're trying to lie to yourself and pretend to yourself that this isn't happening, all you're doing is adding to your resistance, battling with yourself and with your own mind and with your own rational mind. And in the process, you're depriving yourself of the opportunity to actually transcend all these things that are within you that are creating the undesirable reality without you. And the third toxic teaching that I wanted to mention today, which is actually also closely tied to what I just discussed in points one and two just now, is the whole concept that you have to suppress your feelings. Is the whole concept that you have to always be happy. Is the whole concept of you can be sad about, let's say, missing your specific person or frustrated or anxious about having to pay your bills or experiencing human emotions the same way every other human experiences them. There is somehow this misconception in the manifesting community that in order to get your manifestation and in order to stay in the desired state, you have to deny yourself your feelings. You have to deny yourself the experience of living your feelings. And instead, what a lot of people end up doing is that they suppress their feelings. They try to pretend to themselves that everything is okay when actually it's not. The whole point, you guys, of getting into the desired state, of learning to put yourself into the desired state, is not to suppress your feelings. Instead, it's to learn to transcend those stories that your mind is telling you that are causing those unpleasant feelings in the first place. And you transcend them by creating new stories, by healing the wounds of the past, by healing the sad memories of the past and the painful memories of the past, by adopting a new story, by starting to embody who you truly are at your core. You are a powerful inner creator and you are one with the whole universe and endless possibilities, limitless possibilities are at your disposal at all times. And by knowing and practicing and embodying all this, your feelings automatically change in a natural way. It doesn't mean that you cannot miss your specific person. You cannot feel sad about breaking up with them. You cannot ever feel any anxiety about not having money right now, for example. What you transcend is your stories. What you transcend is your states. Once you transcend your state and you genuinely replace it with a new state, your feelings automatically change and they change very easily and very effortlessly. And this is what you're training yourself to do. This is what you're training yourself to learn instead of suppressing your feelings, denying your feelings, stuffing them down and pretending that everything is okay when clearly it is not. So I hope this is a useful overview of some of the most toxic teachings that I have encountered in the manifesting community, that I have a lot of clients come to me with these beliefs and these assumptions that they have to have toxic positivity, they have to be suppressing their feelings, they have to be doing spiritual bypassing. And I always teach them that none of this is necessary. And as a matter of fact, all of this contributes to added resistance towards your desire and your manifestation. So I hope that this video clarifies things and next time you hear teachings like that, you can feel free to let them go, shut your ears to them, not pay them any attention and just continue going on. With all that being said, I'm going to wrap up this video here. I intend that this has helped. As always, I very much appreciate you guys being on this channel, watching this content. I love making this content for you. And as always, I look forward to seeing you all at the next video. Until then, take care 
and bye-bye.